do before. So Sean, when you talk about cloud-based architectures, that's yeah. a term that you used previously. Um, what are we talking about? Are we talking about private clouds? Are we talking about uh, cloud service providers? C, all of the above. Yeah. So cloud service providers, they're some of three parts, biggest, best customers. But corporate IT is moving that way too. And they're saying, hey, I like the flexibility because yeah, I have a data center with unpredictable workloads. I need an array or I need an architecture with sort of multi-tenancy built in, again, not bolted on. And so taking that as a model, they're saying, but I don't want to outsource either because it's too much risk or lack of control or my CIO doesn't want the data to leave the building. So they're moving towards this private cloud model. And the good thing is the service providers are leading the way and now corporate IT is following and they don't have to go, through. it's not nearly as risky as it used to be because other companies have built successful businesses on it and on 3PAR. Is that gap closing, in your opinion, between the, the cloud service providers and the internal IT, or are the cloud service providers going <laughs> so fast because there's so much demand that they're actually innovating even, even faster? I think they're innovating IT. on a business model mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. on a technology. I'd say that the uh, uh, corporate IT is catching up. The big one, the biggest difference for me is still chargeback. Yeah. You know? It's their business on the cloud service. Yeah, providers. we figure maybe 15% of the people out there are doing chargebacks. That yeah. feel about it's right. As good so, as any. so, you know, if you're not doing chargebacks, is your private cloud really a, a cloud? Well, by the technical definition, I guess not. But I, I, I think more and more people are going to start doing that because yeah. people are going to want to see that visibility. The other thing is we're making it easier. Yeah. Right. It's the technology has supports the business, also has to enable the business. And now with Federation and Peer Motion, as you can add more storage, and as part of the software suite within 3PAR, to be able to automatically rebalance the system and put the right resources you know, at the right price at the right time, not only within the array, but across arrays. Now, a lot of that human management in the game of mm -hmm. who's got the best spreadsheet, it's gone. The intelligence <laughs> is in the array. <laughs> we love managing by spreadsheet. And then so the